since another opening frag has been found. This time it sticks. They keep changing up what they're doing. They keep finding success. Nova takes a second one. Now the flash forward. Arcade oh. is not clear. It misses the no. shot. Surely not. Nova pivots 180. Find that. Uh, blinded up his teammate a little bit there, but it still works on now. And it's a CT who comes out with the worst eyesight now towards Nuvox. Only one player. Nova on the other side to support, but David goes down without a kill. He needs so much more from that position. Now they're running on with the MP9 to try and continue forward as Nova is in competition outside the collegiate scene and now back in their home grounds might be where they fall. Championship on the line. David swinging forward, misses out on his shot, but that's the information. Nova has it, and there's just no HP left. Nova will clean up Drexel University. They will complete the upset. They will prove. I'm William Trampel. My alias is uh, Styx, and my major is Information Systems. Hi, I'm David Stone. My in-game name is Davt, and I'm a computer science major. My name is Noah Vachman. Uh, I'm a, my in-game name is Nova, and I'm a software engineering major. My name is Jacob Lee. I am a player for Breeze. Um, my major is computer and electrical engineering. My name is James Tran. My in-game name is Neo Dragon, and I major in game design and production. We are very familiar with the players on, on Davenport University. Um, we know that Kojomo is a very aggressive opper. We know that the players on the team are all very capable um, and practice very, very hard to win, you know, both in collegiate and in advance. Um, and we knew going into it, because we don't practice as a team, that it would be a, an uphill battle for sure. Um, we didn't take any specific measures to counter any of their specific plays or individuals, but we kind of just went into it with what has worked for us all season. Knowing that we were the underdog, we were able to, you know, round by round and win by win, get into their heads um, and get under their skin a little bit, tilt some of their players. And once we were in the driver's seat, uh, we just didn't let go of the pedal. We're a very momentum based team. So um, we were able to get it rolling. And once we were, I think we all knew that we were going to win the game. I mean, the series was kind of interesting for us because we started uh, map one with our pick on Inferno, and I think we lost it like 16-6 or something around that kind of scoreline. And uh, I think we were a little bit like shaken after that, but we kind of just like jumped right into the next series. And once we won Nuke, we knew it was kind of a punishment pick against us since we're not really um, a super coordinated team. Once we won Nuke, we knew uh, the game was probably over because there was no way they were going to beat us on overpass. Like the specific moment I knew we won the game was when it was like 3v5 and Jacob flashed from long over bathrooms and Noah got like this crazy 4k and I just knew the game was over. I knew we were going to win right then. Personally, I knew once we once we ended overpass CT side, I was pretty confident that we were going to win, even even though it was getting kind of close and we were we were making it a little interesting in typical Drexel Counter-Strike fashion. <laughs> I felt like uh, the even though it was getting a little close that we were going to end up pulling out ahead and we ended up pulling off some Drexel magic on that on Noah's rifle round so there was always this overarching shadow over every team's mind that at the end you're going to have to face Davenport everyone in and even now that Collegiate is starting to become a bit more like known in the CS scene and followed even outside of Collegiate scene Davenport was the final boss that you know any team would inevitably have to face and i think that that added a different kind of level there were there were always teams that were strong and capable that we looked towards beating but they were never this goliath that we had to overcome until this season and with so much outside perspective being pushed into the collegiate scene all at once because of davenport it kind of made it feel more more special more important um, and just the stakes felt higher, I guess, for me. Big shout out to Ryan, our previous coach. Uh, he's doing part-time school now, so he can't play Nace with us, but uh, he's been with us since the beginning. And uh, also big shout out to Lex, the president of the eSports club. She's like the first uh, member of that club that really gave us like a lot of attention and support, which is really appreciated. And I was happy that we were able to, you know, go and win it and prove to her and the whole club that we had it in us, so. Yeah, big shout out to a lot of our friends in the, the Drexel Court uh, as well. You know, a lot of uh, really 
amazing support from from all of you guys you know help make it possible for us to take it over the line um and uh shout out to you know anyone anyone who supported us and watched uh, the streams you know reached out after gave a a good game whatever um and uh also because i got yelled at last time uh shout out to jackro because he asked me to quick shout out to all my roommates that i live with currently because they they were the ones that set up like a lot of big watch parties for a lot of a lot of our friends that go to drexel so i just wanted to give them a quick shout out and make sure that they get their recognition for supporting us shout out to our team two and our team three love them they're like super supportive i don't think we've had this much engagement like internally in a little while and since noah didn't say it shout out to noah's tata for watching our games and always supporting us a shout out to all guests no breaks of course our personal team and shout out to lucas and nick shout out to all my roommates for watching as well